Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to get your GitHub repository cloned down to your integrated development environment, and that could be anyone, Virtual Studio Code, whatever your selection is. My students, we are working in the cloud because we use Chromebooks, so remember we have the AWS Cloud9 Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, and we set that up in a previous uh, video. So, again, my students, first thing I want you to do is log into your AWS Academy account, head on over to the card for our class. That should take you to the Learner Lab, select Foundational Services, and then Modules in the middle here. Get that lab running, and then when you get the green light, click on the AWS link right there. That will open up our uh, Management Council and select Cloud9. Once you head over to Cloud9, don't forget, we've already established this environment. This is the software waiting for us on our server in the cloud in Virginia in the data center. So you just want to select open the IDE. When you do that, you will be taken to this page. So we're going to get these two working together. Um, and again, this applies not just to Cloud9, but any work environment that you have that you're writing software on. So. This applies to both my students and anyone else of interest. So let's get this going. Um, first thing is we want to go over to our repository that we want to copy down. This is our uh, this repository that I'm using as an example. And quite honestly, this is going to be the process for any time you receive starter code from me. We're going to do this process over and over again. It's not daily, but it's kind of per project. So open up the project repository, and we're gonna come over to this green button, select code, and notice this is titled clone. So we wanna clone this repository down to our local AWS environment. And there's three ways to do this. HTTPS is using a website or a URL. We could use SSH keys, or we could use a command line interface, GitHub CLI. We are going to stick with the HTTPS. Here is our link down below, and they make it nice and easy for us. This icon here is the copy icon. Just click on that, and we have copied that web uh, the website address to our bookmark. So we have that at the ready to paste. Okay, at this point, head on back to your environment and we're in the integrated development environment, whatever you're using, my students are using Cloud9, pull up that terminal a little bit. And we're going to be working here for the time being. And remember, the blue environment is a folder. And if we slide the folder, um, the structure, the folder structure on the left-hand side, my apologies there. Notice again, we've named this, but um, AWS identifies it as environment. It is an EC2 user environment. So the word environment is the root directory. We want to establish all of our projects off of the root. So we want the command to run here on the root directory. And this command is from the Git language. So we are typing in GIT. And then again, this is right on the, this is right on the terminal called a command line interface. And we're using the Git language, and Git is the version control language that GitHub manages as a user interface. The command we want to specifically use is clone. Now, what do we want to clone? Well, just hit Control V and paste the address for the repository that we just copied. Once you have that, you're going to hit Enter and it will copy some things down. Now there's a couple of possibilities here. Mine immediately copied it down, but you may be prompted at the early stages for your username, so type in that username. And you also may be prompted for a password. Hesitate, do not type your password in. GitHub, um, in its recent purchase from uh, with Microsoft, they have upped the game as many um, cloud services are doing for security and they're requiring a little extra here instead of a password so let me just walk you through how to do that so 
In a new tab, go to github.com and log into your account again. And go up to your profile in the upper left, or excuse me, right hand corner and pull that menu down. And instead of profile, we're going to go all the way down to settings. Select user settings. And then on the left hand side, we're going to scroll all the way down again and you want to find something called developer settings. Select that developer settings and we have three options here. We want to access a person or create a personal access token. So select that third one down and you should see a blank screen like this. So at this point, we want to generate a new token. And in the note, you want to type this in. This is for yourself. Uh, I'm just going to type in the name of the project. <clears throat> and then expiration date. If you pull this down, let's select 90 days. You could select a custom date to go out to the end of the year. And then finally, we want under scope, we want one thing selected. So don't forget this. If you, if you forget this, it won't work. Uh, we want to select repo for our scope. Now, let me go back to that 90 day for a minute. Once we go down and do this, scroll all the way down and select generate token. And right to the right of the green check mark is the actual personal access token just generated. And notice we have the copy icon there again. You have a couple of options here. You can go to a, let's say, for example, like a Google Doc and paste this somewhere that only you know where it is and access it repetitively uh, for the rest of the year. I'm not that organized. I should be. But what I do is every time I am working that day, I create a personal access token and I just keep this tab open until I'm done with my workflow for that day. Um, and then I just go back and regenerate. Uh, for the next time I'm working. So it's really your call, but what you need this for is when we go back to the original, um, excuse me, to our Cloud9 environment, whenever you, you may be prompted when you are connecting an outside service like GitHub to your Cloud9 environment through AWS, both services want to make sure that authorization is proper. So you will be asked with AWS, you'll be asked for your GitHub user name and password. And instead of password, do not type the password, type in or paste in the token that you just generated. Another caution with AWS passwords is when you paste that in or you type in a password, the cursor will not move. That's for security purposes, but it is there. So hit control V to paste, hit enter, and then that will act as your password once you've typed in your username. So that's the only change they've made recently, about a year ago, not even a bit, about maybe 10 months ago. Um, so again, personal access code tokens take over for passwords, but other than that, we now have a direct line linked to Cloud9 and our GitHub project repository that we just accepted from GitHub Classroom. And let's just prove that we have that here. So I'm going to start typing again next to the word environment. And the one of the commands I'm going to type is clear. And clear just simply moves everything up out of my view. If I scroll down, you'll see that there. It's just a quick way to just clear the view. And another command is ls, and that will give me a listing of everything in my environment. So if you notice, this should match everything in the CS in my environment root folder here. So if I pull that down, I have folder, 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 read me. So there's a blue folder, um, two blue folders, three blue folders, and the readme. So that matches. If I want to open up the recently uh, cloned down repository, I need to type in the command change directory or CD. And then I want to indicate the folder I want to open. Now this is a nice little trick. There is only one folder, project folder that has a lowercase IM. So I'm going to type that in and then hit tab. 
and it will extend the re it'll know what I'm typing. Now that only works for when you have unique characters in each folder. So type out as much as you can until you can differentiate between all the folders and then hit tab and it saves you from typing there. If I hit enter here, notice now I have environment backslash and then the image gallery in my name as another folder. One key thing to highlight here is in parentheses, the word main. This is indicating that this is a GitHub repository now copied locally into our environment. Proof of that is if we go back to this, our GitHub repository, notice right here, this we're working off of the main branch. And that is indicated in our folder structure. So if I do an LS here, you will see I have an assets folder, index.html style that I, uh, um, dot CSS and two markdown files. I could also replicate that by pulling that down here and all of the files are there. So to wrap this up, uh, two videos ago, we actually accepted an invitation from Google Classroom that copied down the repo to our GitHub account in the organization for our class. And then once we have that personalized starter code and repository, we now cloned it down to cloud nine using the command git clone. So that wraps it up. We are now ready to start working on cloud nine as we've been waiting for. Keep this video link because this will be a process that we do not daily, but every project. Okay, I appreciate you coming out. I hope you picked up some valuable information and we'll see you in the next one.